Oh, it's on for the math. Easy. So, should I discuss uh, another random topic? Basically, I was informed that there's this random guy on uh, his name is Dinbali or something like that on his website here, where he proves that pi is 3.15147, etc., etc. And yeah, I was brought to this intention, and then I was asked if I could basically look at it and see if, if his proof makes sense. Well, let's just drag this uh, his website in here. He has actually several, a couple proofs of it. It's apparently, he has some random. Um, stuff he solves that others don't. I'm not really sure what this trisection stuff is. But basically, I'm just going to look through two of his proofs of uh, why pi is equal to 3.15. So here's one where arc rectification method, I'm not sure what, what this means, but I'll show you how his logic, it, it doesn't really um, yeah, it, it doesn't really make sense here. And now, so this, this is one proof, I'll go over this one first, and also his main proof is over here. This one here, I'll go through quickly why this one is, is also a fail. So he does some random uh, triangle stuff around a circle and stuff like here. And, and I'll show that he, what he does wrong is just he, he assumes stuff that he hasn't proved. And I'll show that in uh, this one first. Let's just look at this this part right here. Okay, yeah, so I've just taken a screenshot of that, uh, of his article there or his page there. And I basically wanted just to go over this proof that pi equals 3.1547 using this arc rectification, but I'm not sure what it is or this method Latif, I don't know why he calls it, but anyways, I'll show you what he does or what I think he does. So basically, if you this radius here doesn't write it, but it's actually R of the circle. So first thing he does, he draws this this uh, triangle across here. So yeah, this one I've, I'm going to draw it in red. So this triangle here, this one number is 1 because the radius is R of this side here. And, and this is a 30 degree triangle here. And then if that's 30 degrees and this is 60, this part is 60 degrees. And then he basically goes through this one to solve for what this, this SV length is, in this case right here. And basically tan 60, if you recall from my similar triangles video, if you have a right angle like this, if this is 30, and this is 60 degrees, then basically you're going to have something like a, a, a square root 3 is to be a 1, 2, square root 3 here. And then the tan of 60, let's put a 60 there. So tan 60 is going to be, well, opposite over adjacent, so root 3 over 1 here. So if this is 60 degrees here, then it's going to be equal to this, and it's opposite over adjacent. So we'll just go, we'll just solve this little quick one here. So we'll have tan 60 is equal to square root 3 equals to 1 over length SV. Because the 1 is length FS in this case here. FS equals 1. So he has this part here and then you... And then this is the part where it just gets kind of messed up here. He just calls this AF equaling to SV. So then this is just 1 over square root 3 and this, remember this is equal to this. He's pl plugging the calculator. And then AF suddenly equals basically 1 over square root 3 for some strange reason. And then, uh, yeah, this is a part where I just don't understand what he's doing here. And then AS, he calls this one here A to S here. Well, this one is just 1 here, so we're going to have 1 plus SV. Well, this one, so this is the part where he hasn't proved yet. Why is this? And then here, if you have this part here, and then all of a sudden he has a proof for pi. Pi, he says, is AL divided by AI here. And this is 2AS. And then this also, again, this one he calls it, he assumes that this is 1 over square root 3 equals SV. So call this SV here. So this is the part where he just doesn't uh, go through why he's doing all this. And then in this case here, he writes pi is equal to AL divided by LI. And this all of a sudden is equal to 1 for some reason. And and then he, I'll show you this, this next assumption he does, which is pretty ridiculous. So he goes, pi is equal to this for some reason, which I have no idea why he's doing this. So he's basically saying pi is equal to, if you have the length, if this is the, the, the triangle A, this is L, and this is I here. He basically has AL over LI for some reason. So I have no idea what he's doing. And then this last assumption, well, basically, yeah, if you put that in here, you get a, this is going to be a 1 plus 1 over square root 3. This is going to be AL. I mean, this is, this is AS. 
I'll just write it down in here. Does it this one over here? I'm just, now I'm just going to write down over here what he's talking about. So what he does is pi is equal to, well, a, uh, 2 AS, 2 times AS over 1 LI is 1. So this, if you write it down and not in a form like this, just to see what he gets, he'll get 2 plus 1 over square root 3. I mean, 2 square root 3. So this is his, uh, is equal to pi. So apparently he proved that pi is equal to this for some, some magical way. I don't know what he's doing. But then the, this last assumption, the area of the triangle alley equals one half of the area of the circle of position of this. Of 1 to ne 10 to the negative 30, which is preposterous. What, I have no idea what he's doing here. And uh, So basically, even if you have it here, you're going to have a different equation here. So basically what he's saying that that triangle a alley or, or whatever a l i he's saying that the area of it is equal to one half the area of the circle and he i don't know did he draw this on did he how does he have a position of this so bas basically he goes uh area of a triangle because uh recall it's just gonna be base times height divided by two so you're gonna have a l times the height l i divided by two so even in this case, so because the number is equal to half, he says it's equal to half the area of a circle somehow. So that's just going to be 1 over 2 times it by pi r squared. And al, according to him, al is equal to, well, 2 times as, which equals to pi. <laughs> so it equals to 2 times as which equals to basically 2 plus 2 over square root 3. And then Li is equal to 1. Is equal to 1 here. And then this cancels here. We're going to get uh, pi in this case. Yeah, this, these twos cancel. So we're going to get, and the r is equal to 1. So we're going to get pi is equal to al times li yeah, divided by r the radius and that's just going to be one so al times times li here and this is pi uh, according to his method because he because he stated this so I, i'm just writing with scribbling here because i have no idea what he's doing here but he writes pi is equal to al over li for some reason is that a typo for his his own logic but regardless, li is equal to 1. So both answers, you're just going to get pi is equal to al. Or or somehow he says that this length from here to here is pi, which he hasn't proved. So he hasn't proved here. Or right here, he hasn't proved that this one here is equal to pi, the, the, the base length of the alley triangle. And he also hasn't proved why he this is equal to 1 over 3 or just 1 over 3 and he says the position of this so which is just ridiculous I don't know what he's trying to prove there well basically so he hasn't proved this but he also hasn't proved how every other proof that there are in in calculus that proves pi is equal to 3.14 1 5 etc etc so he not only has to prove this but he has to prove that all these are wrong so he hasn't, he just stated randomly here. And also I'm going to go to his next uh, proof of pi. And that's this one here. If you click on this tab here, where he just uh, writes a, it's just a pretty ridiculous article on this. Yeah, so just scrolling down here, I'll show you. He, he draws some random stuff here. I'm not going to go over this whole proof, but uh, just that one I just, the proof I just went over earlier basically gives an idea of what he does. He doesn't really prove anything. So now what he does here, he just draws a circle, draws these two right tri right angle triangles for some reason. Uh, I just I can understand his, his uh, wording here. And then he makes some random statements here that in the equilateral triangle alley, again this alley is there, equals one half the circumference of a circle. And this he has not proved. So before you could even do anything, I, I'm not even going to read anything because he hasn't proved there. So he says, therefore, the perimeter of any equilateral triangle could be one half times the circumference of a circle. Again, he there is no proof for this. He's just stating it's, it's uh, one half and then doing whatever he's doing after. And then getting that angle. Basically what he's saying, if, if you draw this one here, it's a good approximation for pi. So if you draw it here, assume it's there, you're going to get 
that radical equation, basically this one right here, pi is equal to 2 plus 2 over square root 3. And this is a good approximation, actually. This is a good approximation for pi. And in fact, that's all it is, really. It's just an approximation, because he's just stating random stuff here. You can't just state this is half the circumference of a circle without proving it. And then he goes randomly, does some random stuff. I, I just kind of go through. And then basically, he gets that same thing again here. Uh, this 6 plus 2 is square root 3 over 3. This is also equal to 2 plus 2 over square root 3. If you simplify it, and you just get this radically. Then he does some random stuff here. I'm not sure what he's doing. But, but anyways, uh, well, that's all for today, actually. I just wanted to just to explain what I think he's doing and show that he's not really proving anything. And also, not only that, but he has the burden of proving all of these wrong. All the proofs that are there for pi equals 3.1415, especially the, ones I, the, the one I did uh, earlier in my early video using trigonometry. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned about this. And um, to the guy that asked me if I could go through this, this uh, website here to prove if uh, this pi is right or not, uh, hopefully you learned for this. Hopefully it helped. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can download this uh, little scribbling notes I did here. But anyways, uh, stay tuned for another math easy slide.